Hi, this is Teresa Palkovic, physical therapist and owner of Valley Rehab Center. In our previous video on shoulder pain and rotator cuff, we talked about the three reasons why you might have a rotator cuff injury. One could be an actual tear or a strain of your rotator cuff, a shoulder impingement syndrome, and or a neck issue that's causing the problem. Today, my husband Dave is here with me who has undergone shoulder surgery for a torn rotator cuff and we're going to show you a few exercises that you can do if you have a rotator cuff problem. So the first exercise we're going to have Dave do is we're going to have him turn around, he's going to face the wall, he's going to bend his arms up to the side like that, he's going to keep his head and chin tucked and aligned and the first thing he's going to do is he's going to pinch his shoulder blades back down and back. Now he wants to tend to lift his shoulders so we want to keep those down and back and you're pinching using these muscles here. So relax and pinch again. Relax, pinch again, relax, pinch again. So the objective is down and back with the shoulder blades, shoulders stay down. Okay relax your arms for me. Now I'm going to show you a rotator cuff um, exercise from the back and then from the front. So in this next exercise he's going to bend his elbows and hold his palms up. All right. And then what he's going to do is he's going to rotate his arms out to the side keeping his elbows next to his side. And then in. That's working the rotator cuff muscles here and here and it's also working his shoulder blade. So it's out and then in, out, and in, out, and in. Now another exercise that he can do, step backwards, arms are at his side and he's going to raise them up like a V. So come up either side of your body, straight up forward like a V. Up overhead and back down. All the way down? Mm-hmm. And back down. Up and back down. Now if you notice Dave's shoulder blade just winged when he did that and that's because he still has some weakness in his shoulder girdle here and that's causing. So raise your arm up again and come back down and you see how that winged out. So we need to work on these muscles as well as the rotator cuff muscles. Now we're going to have him turn around and show you those three exercises from the front. So first arms are up like this and you're pinching straight back. Okay now when you pinch straight back there you go don't let those Good. Now the second one we showed you, hands were, or arms were tight into your side, palms are up and then it's out and in. Now Dave's tending to want to move his head forward so we're going to have him keep his head there and do that exercise. And this just goes to show you how important posture is when you're doing an exercise. If he did that exercise with his head jutted forward like it was, it's not going to benefit him. It could actually cause him to have more shoulder pain instead of less shoulder pain. Okay, and then the last one, arms are at your side and you're going to come up like a V. Straight up and back down. Straight up. Now it's out to the side a little bit like a V, not in close to your body and then back down and up and down. Now another exercise that he, you can do, we talked about the um, muscle that is underneath your scapula that holds your scapula or your shoulder blade to your rib cage. We're going to have him stand facing the wall. Going to put his hands on the wall at shoulder level. Okay, Straightening, straighten your elbows. So step backwards with straight elbows. So now these muscles are on a stretch. And I'm going to have him just sink his chest, elbows stay straight, sink his chest straight, straight into the wall. So 
not like a press, not like a push up, but like I socked you in the middle of your back. So let this sink, sink, and then push backwards like I punched you in the chest. Now forward and back. Keep your chin tucked. There you go. Keep your elbows straight. Now push and sink. Mm -mm. And sink, push, and sink, push, and sink. Okay. All right, turn and face the. I'm going to show you one more exercise for rotator cuff, and this can only be done if you can get your arms to shoulder level. So he's going to bring his arms up to shoulder level. To the side. Mm -hmm. Bend the elbows. Okay. And now he's going to work on rotating the arms down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Okay. One more. Turn around. Hands are going to be behind his back, resting on his buttock. Chin's going to stay tucked, shoulders down and back. And now you're going to pinch your shoulder blades, push your hands away from your body. There you go. And relax. Push away from your body. And relax. Are you getting any pain in the front of your shoulder? If you get yes, pain in the front of like your shoulder, your if you get pain in front of your shoulder, then don't lift away. Instead, try this. Lift up and back down. Up and back down. Still getting pain in your shoulder? Other shoulder. No. Oh. <laughs> Two rotated cuff injuries. <laughs> yes. Okay. So if you can't do either one of those, then just hold this position and pinch and relax and pinch and relax and pinch and relax. Thank you. So those are just a few exercises that you can do if you're having a rotator cuff injury or if you have some shoulder pain. Again, in all instances, if you are having any of those um, symptoms, you should definitely see a physician before starting an exercise program or contact um, a physical therapist that would be available um, to help you work through these exercises and make sure that you're using, you're performing them with good form. Thank you for viewing our videos and we hope that you'll take advantage of some of the other um, videos that we have to offer.